friends and neighbors. Howdy. 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 Uh, this is a great day. Uh, first of all, I'm Billy Johnson, so president and COO of the team. Uh, and I'm pleased to announce that one of these two guys. <laughs> Yay, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, everyone. We're, uh, we're thrilled today. You know, just some quick notes from my perspective as the guy that's been here for 10 years. It's really, really nice to get to the point where a team has been able to be in one market uh, long enough to hire a coach that is part of our original family. Uh, this is our first coach that is a legacy, uh, a guy that's actually played in this town for a number of years. And, uh, you know, we're, we're thrilled with, with this type of announcement. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name. I'm going to leave that honor to the next fellow. Uh, and when I introduce this next fellow, by process of elimination, you're probably going to figure out who the coach is. So I don't want to talk down to anybody. At any rate, owner, Gary Jacobs. Well, when I bought the team uh, two years ago, one of the very first questions I was asked was, is this thing in Las Vegas? And I think uh, back then I made a commitment to our season ticket holders and to our fans and to the city that we were going to do that. And today I'm really pleased to announce that we have somebody local taking over as head coach and team of the Las Vegas Wranglers, that would be Mike Medill. so that we'd be able to uh, allow him to have the time to get his work done and get the team structured so we can move forward with it. And uh, as you know, my mantra has always been that the Wranglers are part of this community and we want to be out there and be part of this community. And Mike is certainly going to be a major face of the Wranglers being out there Woo! with all of you out there in the schools and out there in the community. So it's uh, very, very uh, exciting for me to announce that. And I'm going to let Mike say, uh, say a few words here. Yeah. Tuesday night and uh, told me this opportunity was available and it didn't take long they said you know uh, we'd like to we like to find out really quick what your decision is because there'll be a lot of people all over this uh, this job and uh, it didn't take me long I talked to uh, my wife and her family and I mean get back to them on Wednesday that uh, it would be uh, an honor to, to coach this team and uh, uh, thank you Billy and Gary for this opportunity and uh, I mean, you guys are so loyal, and uh, teammates are so loyal here that uh, it, it's a no-brainer for me. And uh, I know it's been a tough week for a lot of a lot of people, and uh, you know that's uh, that's how it goes sometimes. But I, uh, I I couldn't be more excited about this, and it did happen really fast. But I mean, uh, my body was uh, not feeling so amazing here. Uh, <laughs> A lot of times you think about the real world and, and uh, where you want to go next and uh, what the next chapter is in your life. And uh, to get that call Tuesday night, like I said, I, uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings going through me then, but um, it, uh, it's something I would never pass up. So I mean, uh, thank you guys and thank the staff and, and, uh, and everyone in this organization for this opportunity. And uh, I, will, uh, I will do my best. So thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Any other questions? Then? Did anyone? Anyone, anything? <laughs> Everything but the power play. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, no Siri never signed your contract Thank until like a day before the season started. Did you sign this one yet? <laughs> uh, you know what, it's, it's funny, they, uh, we actually just signed it about a half hour ago downstairs. <laughs> you know you're right. Yeah, so yeah it was, it's, uh, it's weird, I mean, like you said, a lot happened in the last couple of days uh, that, you know, it just, that's, that's how things kind of unravel, and, but this, uh, yeah, nothing was on paper till, till just this morning, so, yeah. So you're not going to mess around, not waiting to sign. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player, player contracts, sometimes you're, you're still making decisions still uh, later in the summer. And yeah, that was different from me last summer. Yeah. I was pretty committed to playing here. You just, I would never say anything until it was on paper. And uh, it's kind of the same with this. So yeah, we just, just got it done here today. So. Yes. Right. Mike, as far as being team captain this last year, going through the playoffs, what is the major point of the team that you'd like to address next year and improve it? What one area would you say? Like, oh, well, this year, it's been a while. Um, I have no idea. Like I said, this all this stuff just kind of happened here the last couple of days. So uh, we haven't even really talked about any of that. But I mean, the biggest thing for me is just um, what they've told me is just the role I've had here and being able to be a captain here and, uh, you know, being in a lot of different situations, helping make decisions. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes, and uh, the biggest thing for me is being positive, I think, with with players, with my teammates, with, with everyone, and uh, kind of moving on from mistakes and, uh, and finding a way to keep guys motivated and, and positive. So that's, uh, I think that's my biggest thing, yeah. Anything about being a player coach? Um, is this even doing anything? Or? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like I said, people people talk about stuff like that all the time. And we have a bunch of these guys that, that could they could do things like that. You know, uh, people are so dedicated and so loyal to each other that you know you just if somebody's not doing something, somebody else fills in for that role. So uh, I don't know. A, a player coach would, would be awesome too. But like I said, in uh, the first week after the season, I mean, even I was helping my brother-in-law do some. Uh, <laughs> Some tile and some construction stuff, just because we we have wanted to kind of, you know, even start a business with each other, and that's something where I wanted like a taste of it to see how how this might go, you know, and uh, because I didn't know if I if I was going to play or not, and uh, like I said, when when this jumps out uh, earlier this week on Tuesday, it, it things seem to be falling into place, and maybe uh, you know I decided that it's probably not you know time to get my body rest, but. Uh, Stick around with this team that I uh, that I've grown a part of and that I love this community and this team and uh, you know it's a chance of a lifetime. So uh, player coach, not anymore, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome home. Yeah. How far do you think the transition for you will be going from a player to a coach? Uh, that's a that's a good question. I mean, it's obviously I have uh, zero head coaching experience as of right now, but. My uh, my dad was uh, my dad played at McGill University and UMB uh, in Canada. And when he was done at McGill, he actually was asked to be the, the head coach there, right out of college. And he coached at it's one of the best schools in the country, McGill University, for seven or eight years. So I mean, he jumped right into it, and he he was amazing at it. And uh, I don't know if everyone knows this, but I do have a, a twin brother who's a, a coach and a teacher at a prep school in Toronto. So it's you know, it's something I've been around a long time, and uh, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, a lot of it is uh, having to deal with a lot of these these guys and, and different kinds of issues. I think has uh, prepared me for things like this, and uh, I'm not uh, I'm not really worried about it at all. The biggest thing is the pronouns. Got to get them to stop saying teammate and say player. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you always planned on entering coaching? I'm not really. I mean, i like I said in passing. I've had fans and teammates and family say, you know, you, you're, you'd be a great coach one day and things like that, but when you're a player and, and you're, you're part of the game and you're getting hit and you're, uh, you know, you're trying to make things happen on the ice, it, it doesn't, I mean, it hasn't crossed my mind except, like I said, in passing when people mention that to me. And uh, that's why it has been a, a little bit stressful of a week that things happen just kind of so fast. But like I said, I, could, I couldn't be happier and... Uh, 
yeah, it, uh, it happened quick, and, and here we are. So, yeah. Last one. Do you think that coming the start of the season, when you after all the picking is done, and they you start to the team starts to take the ice, do you think that's when it'll really hit you? That you're not in the uniform now, you're in the suit yeah, on a daily basis. That's a that's like a good now question. It's like a, well, you know, it's dream? you know it's weird because I, I did when I when I tore the cartilage in my ribs there, uh, you know a month or two ago, and uh, when he was asked me to come on the bench with him. Uh, I mean, he says that that would be a great experience for me. You know, great to and, yeah. and so I've done that. You know, I've done it in preseason, and yeah, when uh, when things start happening like that, it will be a little different. But I, I've I've been there a little bit. And I, like I said, I, I've learned a lot from from moves, and I've learned a lot from uh, my teammates and my experiences here. That I, I think it'll just kind of work itself out. I know Jersey was very popular in team store, so we're going to have Mike Medill suits for sale. All right. <laughs> autograph? Autograph? I'm sure he'd be happy to autograph. I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about money. So we get the shirt off his back? Uh, well, thank you so much for coming. We've got quite a few uh, individual media interviews. I, I do want to summarize and, and just uh, close up uh, just on behalf of the organization. Uh, uh, thanks to Mike for being open to this on Tuesday. Um, and just from personal experience, I've had 25 years in professional sports, most of them in professional baseball. And I've had the pleasure of working at all levels, from AAA, AA, single A, Major League Spring Training, now in hockey. Uh, and in my experience and what I've seen, very few guys that you watch play are capable of making a transition in coaching. And uh, the, the two or three guys that I personally know that made that transition share many of the traits that, that I've had a pleasure to watch Mike have off the ice. And so when you really think of it that way, you say to yourself, you know, Mike's going to be a great coach someday. Why not, why not let him start here? Why not keep him where he belongs? So that's, that was our frame of mind, uh, and I think, it's, I think it's a tremendous uh, selection, and we can't wait to get this thing started. So.